Hello, my name is Sarah and I'm a certified outings leader with the Sierra Club. September is Trails Month, so all throughout the month we'll be highlighting little known trails within the region so that you have more opportunities to explore in a safe and socially distant manner. It is a pandemic, so please make sure that if you go out, you bring your mask with you. I am the only one in this parking lot right now, so I feel it is safe to be able to talk to you without the mask on today. We are currently at Lackawack Sanctuary, which is a field station and environmental education center in Lake Ariel, Pennsylvania, in Wayne County. Now, when you hear the term sanctuary, many people think that that means that this is a conserved piece of property that is not open to the public. That is not true. The sanctuary is open to the public dawn to dusk throughout the year. The only time that they close their gates is during rifle season because hunting is allowed on the property. Uh, this year, with Pennsylvania changing its regulations, there are dates when Sunday hunting is also allowed. So make sure that you wear your bright orange if you are out on the trails on November 15th, 22nd, or 29th in 2020. Lackawack Sanctuary has 545 acres to explore. Currently, we are at the Visitor Center, and we will be hiking the Big Lake Trail today, which is roughly three miles through the property down to Lake Wall and Paw Pack and back up again. It is their longest trail here at the sanctuary. Uh, many of their trails are around a mile to two miles and will have varying uh, vocal viewpoints. Uh, if you come in the winter or the early spring, the Ledges Trail is really nice to go on. There is an overlook of Lake Wall and Paw Pack, but it does leaf out uh, very densely in the summer. So uh, the viewpoint isn't as um, dramatic. Heron Pond, which we will be passing today, uh, is a wonderful little pond that often has ospreys nesting on it during the summer. You do not want to go swimming in Heron Pond, though, uh, as they, there are quite a few leeches on, in, in the water. There's also a lot of newts, which are fun to catch, but you don't want to go swimming there. Um, Lake Lackawack is the jewel of the sanctuary. It's a 55-acre uh, glacial lake. It is known as the most pristine southernmost glacial lake within the country. And uh, researchers from all over the country come to uh, use the lake as a baseline for any of their studies. Now there is a fully flushed out, I don't know if you can see it with the lighting, uh, environmental laboratory at the visitor center. Uh, there are also bathroom facilities here, uh, including an ADA compliant um, Porta John. So if you need to go at the beginning of the trailhead, there are trash receptacles as well as bathroom facilities. There is also a new nature play area that was built at the visitor center within the last few years. So uh, if you have small children, it's a great place to go. It is not a traditional um, playground though. There will be no swings, but there are dirt mounds to climb and uh, logs you can stack. It's a great, it's a lot of fun. Now, the Great Camp Road, which is about a mile, it's a trail and a road. Um, sometimes they have the gate open and you can drive all the way down to the Environmental Education Center and the lodge and um, carriage house down here. Uh, they have, in the last few years, started offering weddings uh, at the location, so you can stay at the lodge uh, here on the sanctuary. There are also several other small trails that you can go on. 
um, the Partner Ridge Trail, this little loop over here that comes off of Maurice Braun from the Visitor Center, is um, a conservation easement held by the um, Delaware Highlands Conservancy, and uh, that's in partnership with the sanctuary. If you do decide to come and visit the sanctuary, they, um, they run completely on donations and grant funding. So make sure to uh, give them a little bit if you can afford to do so. They have some great programming that they normally do throughout the year that they haven't really been able to offer this year because of the pandemic. To get to the Big Lake Trail from the main parking lot at the Visitor Center, you will park at the Visitor Center and continue walking back out of the parking lot and down towards the lake. Here is the nature play area that I was discussing just a moment ago. It's got a nice little tube and a boat, a little amphitheater. There are picnic tables and a pavilion up here as well. So if you need a nice place to have a picnic, this is a great location for that. The visitor center itself is more of an office than it is anything else. There are no displays in the visitor center. It is just an information gathering location. They do have an environmental education center down closer to Osprey Pond. Yeah, but um, it, is, it is closed unless there are staff members on hand to let you in. So here we have the main road. This is Sanctuary Road, which is right off of Lackawack Road in Lake Ariel. The actual um, physical address for the location is 94 Sanctuary Road in Lake Ariel if you're trying to find GPS locations. Now we are technically on Great Camp Road, but you'll see the sign right up ahead that says Big Lake Trail which we will be taking. It goes off to the right. These lovely large signs that you see to the left and the right were Boy Scout projects. There have been quite a few Eagle Scout projects that have been done here within the sanctuary. So the next stretch is just going to go through the woods and I will start recording again once there is more to show off. We are less than a quarter of a mile down the Big Lake Trail when you come to this first clearing. Now the sanctuary has had several um, selective harvests within the property limits. This is one of them. They cleared a bunch of trees a few years back to create this opening. But unfortunately, whenever you open things up and disturb um, the, the surrounding ecosystems, sometimes you have invasive species grow in and this whole green swath right here and on the other side is full of Japanese stilt grass and invasive species that takes over. There's also a little bit of hay scented fern peeking through which nothing really eats so sometimes you see giant fields of hay scented fern which look and smell delicious but are not very good for the surrounding ecosystem.
We can look and see. There are some really awesome way station signs here about forest succession and um, about tar um, selective harvests. About half a mile down the trail, you hit Heron Pond. There are lots of amphibians in Heron Pond. You'll find newts and frogs aplenty on a nice sunny day like today. You'll most likely see a couple of turtles basking themselves. And if you look across the way, you'll see a beaver dam, a beaver lodge actually, the beaver dam is down farther, a beaver lodge. Um, that you'll see other evidence of around the property. I'll show off a few beaver chewed logs in just a second. Now you'll see a house across the way. That is the Environmental Education Center, which we'll see once we are coming back from our hike. We've got some lovely little water lilies that haven't opened. Let me see if we can find some froggies. Oop, I heard one. Oop, there goes one. Who's there? Bloop. Froggies. Hmm. I think we might have scared them all away. I hear them now. Here are a couple of those beaver chews I was talking about just a moment ago. If you look carefully, you might be able to see some of the teeth marks. Here's a good view of the osprey nest on Heron Pond. They like to build their nests way up high, like in trees or on top of telephone poles. And they are amazing fishermen. Um, they can actually rotate their claws. So that way the fish are pointing straight forward instead of flopping side to side, which makes them more aerodynamic flyers after they've made their catch. The young have already flown the nest for the year, so the nest is now empty. But below the nest, you'll notice a little rectangle. That's a bat box. They do have a healthy population of bats here on the sanctuary property. And right below that, there is a metal bar that is going around the pipe. That is a bear deterrent so that bears can't climb up and get into the bat box or higher up onto the nest. We're currently on the other side of Heron Pond where it loops up towards the visitor center and we'll be continuing down on the Big Lake Trail. But I just wanted to point out this wicked cool grapevine right here. Look at how massive that thing is. Right at the entrance to the Ledges Trail, which will take you down to the Overlook, you'll see another pond. This is Golden Pond. It's much smaller than Heron Pond is, but both were man-made by the previous owners. About a quarter mile down the trail from Golden Pond, you'll see another open area where another selective harvest was done a few years back. This harvest was done in collaboration with the Golden Winged Warbler Project, uh, which um, provides grant funding to nonprofit organizations that want to open up their forest floor to provide habitat for an endangered migratory bird species. Continuing on down, 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 down the trail. The Big Lake Trail becomes a loop down towards the bottom. So we are going to go off to the right, but you can go either way at this junction. It just depends on how much of a descent you want. Off to the left, it becomes much steeper in its uh, downgrade towards the lake. Off to the right, it is more gradual, 
And I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's the first little peak of Lake Wallenpalpak in the distance. So here we are at lovely Lake Wallenpalpak, the third largest lake in Pennsylvania, and the second largest man-made lake in Pennsylvania after Raystown Lake and Central PA. This is a recreational hot spot, and you'll notice that there's generally boats on the lake, especially on a beautiful sunny day like today. And the southern end of the lake tends to get more of that boat traffic with all of the marinas down at the tip. We, there we go, beautiful. The, the lake level does get low towards the end of the summer, um, between summer's heat and the drawdown that they do at the dam, so that way the um, docks can be pulled up at the marina. If you see any trash, please pick it up. Also, fun little PSA for while we're down here enjoying this beautiful view. While they may be pretty, please don't stock, stack the rocks into rock cairns. Uh, it disturbs the surrounding habitat and um, is not nice for the amphibians and insects that live underneath those rocks. So this is a no-no. I think there's a duck over there. Wait, wait. If you do decide to take the other half of the trail to make it a loop, here's that incline I was telling you about that goes straight back up to Lake Lackawack. Don't go off to the right. That is a, a trail made by one of the local community associations that'll take you into someone's backyard. All right, we've made it back up the hill. And instead of turning left to go back onto Big Lake Trail, we're going to go off to the right to go on to the Osprey Trail to see the other side of Heron Pond and catch a glimpse at Lake Lackawack. So here we are on the other side of Heron Pond. There's a nice sunny rock over there where it gets kind of deep and there's some seating made by another Eagle Scout project. I'm not sure if you can See this little guy out there, but sunning himself on that rock is a little turtle. I knew we'd find one today. And I bet if we go to the water's edge, we'll be able to hear a frog or two, so shh. <laughs> Knew we'd find a couple frogs. Behind us is the Watrous House. The, yeah, the Watrous House. There we go. I can speak today. Um, where the sanctuary holds their summer camps normally. This year they went virtual, but it's a really nice building. It was just acquired a few years back, and they're turning it into their environmental education center. Just up the hill from Heron Pond, we start to see our historic structures. The pit toilet is not a historic structure, but it is a nice facility to have and is ADA compliant. There are also plenty of picnic tables here if you would like to have a snack. We'll be approaching a set of giant chimes, which at one point were actually automated and you could turn the crank and listen to the noise from miles around. They were part of the original Coal Baron state, estate that burnt down in Scranton. So the buildings we see here 
are on the register. They are over a hundred years old. The lodge over here was one of the first summer homes in Northeast PA. Uh, the owner would come from Scranton. He'd take the train and then ride his carriage from Lake Ariel and park the carriage in the carriage house where there used to be some wicked barn dances and stay here in his summer home. Now, these are the Deegan chimes. You can pause and read that at your leisure if you would like to later. And you are free to ring them. Listen. I'm too short. Kids love to listen to the chimes. So this is this here is the ice house which has been converted into a B&B property, so you can rent it out actually, but uh, they used to store their ice that they would cut from the lake in that property. With all the windows, it'd be a little hard nowadays. And here's the lodge, which as I said in the beginning of the video, you can stay at if you'd like to, if you have a large group of people. In the summers, they normally have research academies and college students that come and stay here on the property. And here we have Lake Lackawack. This is a research lake, so no boating, fishing, or swimming are allowed on the lake, but a few times a year, they do offer guided boat trips with their own boats. So you can check their website at lackawacksanctuary.org and see when those happen because they are not very common and they fill up quick. Over yonder, that area over there is um, very boggy and you can find some pitcher plants and sundews in that vicinity. And then it gets more woody up that way. If we walk out onto the dock, you'll be able to see the research buoy that they keep out there most of the year that collects things like um, lake depth and temperature and dissolved oxygen, and that all gets uploaded in real time for researchers to, um, to use that data. Let's see if I can zoom in on this little froggy dude. Hey, little green frog, how you doing? Just chilling, hanging with your buddy. A couple frogs, just chilling in the water. Let's go out onto the dock. So here we go, out on the dock, which was just recently redone. It used to get really, really boggy here in the springtime when the water was high. come out here and enjoy a view from the dock. As we leave Lake Lackawack, we go down the very short carriage trail to make our way back out to the Great Camp Road slash trail which is the way we'll be taking back. Normally, this trail also serves as the road down to the lodge and the watcher's house, but right now it is closed because the employees are not often here due to the pandemic. So we'll follow this up. It's just over about a half a mile back to the parking lot at this point. And we're back. So that was the Big Lake Trail down to Lake Wallenpalpak. Then we circled back. We took the Osprey Trail around Heron Pond to uh, Lake Lackawack. And then we took the Carriage Trail back to the Great Camp Trail 
to come back to the parking lot. Uh, so roughly a little over three miles round trip. Um, I'd consider it a moderate difficulty just because of that ascent towards the end of Big Lake once you're coming back from the lake. But otherwise, it's a gravel trail throughout. Uh, not horribly difficult. Uh, there are benches along the way and there are bathroom facilities. Now, please make sure that anything that you bring in, you bring out again with you. I found quite a bit of trash. I don't know if you can see that. Quite a bit of trash out on the trail today. Not a lot, because this isn't a very heavily trafficked trail, but still enough to make people meh. <laughs> uh, if you would like more information on Lackawack Sanctuary, you can go to their website, www.lackawack.org. Or if you would like more information on the Sierra Club in Northeast Pennsylvania, you can go to sierraclub.org backslash Pennsylvania. Um, and under the website, there will be a groups tab where you can find out information about groups local to you in Pennsylvania. Or you can check us out on Facebook at NEPA Sierra Club. I hope you enjoyed your hike today. There are plenty more places to explore. Join us next week as we hike a trail at the north end of the lake.